Workspace admins here. Today we'll take a look at uh, third-party app access on Google Workspace. So it can be found under security menu here, access and data control, API controls. And you can click on manage third-party app access here and you can click on view list. So there is a bit of a propagation delay here as I just try signing up for Calendly as well as uh, Lucy's chart, uh, but they uh, are not showing up here yet. Uh, so this video is large based on a uh, documentation or recommendation from a Googler. Uh, so we'll uh, provide a link to this post on Reddit uh, in the uh, video description. So we'll basically follow these uh, three steps that's outlined here. So first step is to trust all the applications that your users are using. Thankfully, uh, Google's made some changes here so you can uh, do some bulk operation here. And then you can restrict the uh, API access for some of the uh, un or the untrusted applications. And then lastly, uh, it's to uh, restrict some of the apps uh, that you um, trusted in step one. So I'm in the Google Workspace tenant here. Uh, so this is a tenant that uh, Kim's set up for uh, this video. So I'll just click on bulk update list and I'll download the uh, download access apps here so we can uh, take a look at it in CSV format. So I'll just download CSV. Yeah, I'll just open a new sheet here and import it as sheets are new. File import, let's upload. So it's in downloads and OWL apps. So if you are wondering what OWL stands for, it st stands for OAuth whitelist. Uh, so in case you are curious. So I'll just uh, replace the sheet here. So as you can see, uh, these ones have name, the type of app, ID, uh, whether they have been verified by Google, number of users, request services, and their access, so and the, as well as the scopes. So I haven't actually done this before, so let's uh, bulk up the list again. Uh, okay, so we just need type, ID, and access. So we'll just clean up some columns and download it again. So type, ID, access. So I'll just delete this, type ID, delete columns, access, I'll just change to trusted, and I'll just drag and drag this down here, and I'll just delete this column as well. Download it as a CSV and attach CSV file here. Upload. So there are some errors. So I'll just uh, refresh screen here and see what those errors are. I'll just do it in bulk here rather than using the spray sheet. Okay. Uh, it's for some reason, uh, there may be some issues with uh, Google. So I'll just go back to Google services tab and start uh, restricting some of the services. Let's make sure that I will not be locking Kim out of anything. So I'll just go ahead and try it again. Change access, trusted, change. Unless Google doesn't actually let us do a bulk operation today for some reason. So let's just do one by one. Oh, 
or it's possible that some of these apps may have been uh, deleted. So we'll just leave it for now. So on the Google Services tab, you can actually restrict the services for the scopes. So you have your Drive, Gmail, Calendar. Uh, so s some of these scopes may be considered sensitive. So for example, if a application is requesting Drive access, that means uh, you are giving the application to read Drive files, create Drive files, delete Drive files. So same with Gmail. So some of these scopes are definitely more sensitive than the others. So obviously some scopes with GCP might be sensitive as well. Um, so App Script uh, Classroom. So I'll just uncheck the Google Sign-In scope because uh, uh, blocking this scope might lead to some uh, poor password hygiene such as password reuse. So I'll just change access here to restricted. So I'll just uh, uncheck this box here. Uh, so we'll just uh, only trusted apps can access a service. So you can read about it and then uh, change access uh, level as needed. So I have restricted access for those uh, 15 or 16 scopes. And let's click on view list again. Uh, so here, um, the list is still the same. So I'll just go to Calendly to demonstrate what would happen if the uh, scopes are not authorized. So if I go to, I already signed up for Calendly, so I just need to go to my account. Actually, I'll sign out and sign back in. So log in, oops. And let's type in my email. So it's brian at coursera.nosubstitute.com. So it asks me to use Google OAuth. So it's strange enough that allow me to sign in, uh, but we'll take a look at it. And I'll go to, actually that is because this one doesn't actually have the calendar scope. So I need to set up the calendar scopes here. So if I connect, so this part will fail because it's now requesting access to a denied scope. So it says, as you can see, it does say, uh, oops, something went wrong. So let's go in and trust this. Uh, so if I connect here, uh, so I can get the client ID from the URL. So I'll just grab, try to find it in the URL here. So it's this guy. Or if I click on here, actually. So I'll click on configured apps, add app, client ID, paste it in, search, and it should show up, select. It's a web app, select, trusted, configure. So now if I complete this, uh, oops, admin policy enforced, so let's just uh, try that again, connect. So there is sometimes propagation delay. So let's click on view list again. Calendarly is trusted. So connect again. Allow. So let's actually make sure that I have calendar service enabled. It's possible that I don't. Yeah, so I don't have access to Google Calendar. So that's why. So if I had a workspace license assigned uh, or had Gmail service enabled, I should be able to integrate the calendar, but uh, because I don't have a uh, calendar enabled, that's why uh, authorization work, but there's no uh, calendar uh, API that's available for my user account. So, so the three steps are to, again, uh, seven acts. So for all the applications that you have in your environment, you can go ahead and go ahead and trust them. And then second step is to go to Google services tab and restrict it, restrict all the API requests. And there is a, you can actually customize the error message here as well. So if you want to authorize any third party apps, Please contact help desk. 
So that's one example of error message that you can configure for your users. So I'll just cancel out of that as well. So, and then the last step is to, um, so if I go back to manage third party access, and then the ones that you have configured here. So if you do not trust an app, you can just change access again to limited, meaning that their authorization will fail similar to Calendly. So I'll just change that again. Yeah, so just to demonstrate it. Or you can even block an app as well. So if I go back to Calendly, cancel here. So account, calendar connections, connect. So this will now say admin policy enforced. I'll just sign out and sign back in. Okay, there you go. So now it's uh, saying admin po policy enforced because the uh, the request is scope uh, includes calendar access. So this is how you go about controlling uh, proliferation of any uh, third party apps in your environment. So again, trust what your users are already using, restrict access to Google services, and then start untrusting applications that your users don't need. If this video was helpful, uh, please leave us a comment or give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or if there's any uh, videos that you'd like to see on our channel, uh, please uh, send us an email at uh, team at workspaceadmins.org. Thanks.